I'm photographer David Bergman and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. Have you ever seen that weird little graph on the back of your camera that looks like a mountain range? It's called a histogram and today's tip is all about using that sucker to get the best possible exposures. The dictionary definition of a histogram is, quote, a diagram consisting of rectangles whose area is proportional to the frequency of a variable and whose width is equal to the class interval. Got it? All right, no problem. It's actually a simple graph of the brightness of the pixels in your image from pure black on the left to pure white all the way on the right. So how do we use this data? Let's talk for a second about dynamic range. Our eyes and our brain have the amazing ability to see and interpret the darkest darks all the way up to the lightest lights. In other words, I can look at a light sky and a dark building all at once and see not only the detail in the sky, but also all the detail in the buildings. The camera can actually only capture a limited range of these tones. Technically, RAW files capture a bit more outside of that range, but let's just talk about JPEGs for now. If you expose properly for the sky, the buildings are probably going to be way too dark. At the same time, if you decide to expose for the buildings, the sky is going to be completely blown out. So if you look at your histogram and you have a nice mountain range in the middle of the graph, you've successfully exposed properly for all of the tones in your image. If it's all pushed down to the left side, it's a bit darker. If it's pushed to the right side, it's going to be brighter. Keep in mind, there's no right or wrong exposure. You might want your image to be dark or light. There's no general rule as to where that histogram should be. So why would you use the histogram instead of just looking at the picture on the back of your screen? Well, first of all, those screens are not always the most accurate. They're usually dialed in to be really punchy and contrasty so the pictures look really good on them. And you can artificially change the brightness on them as well. Also, in bright daylight, it might be really hard to see that picture, so you can use the histogram to properly judge your exposure. So remember, the histogram is a graphical representation of the brightness of your image. Use it properly to make sure you're capturing the images exactly the way you want them to be. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos, follow me on social media at David Bergman, and go to the Adorama Learning Center for lots of other tips and tricks.